to part two of the champs vlog. I'm currently still in bed. I've got a Millie here and a Maypug there. She's under the covers because she got quite cold last night. Michael's through the other side on, your, on his airbed. Can you see him? Hang on. Where are you? Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> I've got the hammock, which has been interesting, but as you can probably hear, it's raining a lot, um, which we're not looking forward to because, well, number one, it's cross country day, so that'll be interesting, and number two, I don't want to get wet. <laughs> uh, but I need to make Casper breakfast. And take him some hay and probably take him for a little bit of a leg stretch because we don't go cross country until 12 o'clock so yeah we've got it's now it's about half past seven so we've got quite a while before we're this <laughs> give me such double chins <laughs> we've got quite a while until we need to do anything um i think my mum and abby are coming about half past eleven and I've got to decide where I want to tack up and stuff. I think I might tack up in the stable. Like it's not this thing, it's probably okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was aimed at me. It was aimed at you. Okay. Yeah, I think, oh, rain's lightened up. Stay that way. Yeah, I think that's the driest option. We shall see. Anyway, you're warming back up, aren't you? Because he slept on the floor and you got cold. You might sleep in a coat tonight. The maple's really warming back up because it... Oh, there you go, you can see it move. <laughs> so creepy. Anyway, we will see you when I go and give Caspi his breakfast. We are just about dressed, got my waterproof trousers on. I need to go and get some wellies from the car and some breakfast. Then I need to make Caspi's breakfast. Oh, I left the bowl outside. That's going to be full of water. Um, and then head down to Caspi, muck him out. Um, and then we're going to walk the cross country course because they've taken out the owl hole. Um, if you've watched my last vlog, you would have seen that one. And I just want to watch it whilst a few people are going around and see what it's like. Oh, sorry. Um, I think I'll put my big studs in because it is... Hang on, let me show you. It's rather soggy out there. Um, ooh, no, I haven't just locked it in. Um, so yes, I'm going to put big studs in, go and walk the course again, see how it's riding, and then get on. I think by that point, once we've done everything, it's about time to get on. So yeah, I will take you guys along with me. I'm not going to film the course or anything. I might film a couple of people jumping, but I don't want to get my phone soaked. And also, I don't have that much battery. We're all ready. The girls got their coats on. Michael's got the hay. I've got customer speed. This is delightful. Let's hope we don't get too wet because we literally have nowhere nice to dry any clothes. Hello. You've got a bit of a wet face. You finished all your hay. Here you go, boy. Should we go for a hand graze and let Michael muck you out? Yes? Look at that. You've drunk a lot of water. So, that's good. Right, come on, let's get you in a head car. I am looking very beautiful, hiding behind a hedge. Just was having a nice hand graze. Do this for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, half an hour, and then we're going to go and walk the course. I'll probably take off his. Um, Superman suit and just let him be because he is filthy anyway so wonderful yeah look you poo lied in your poo haven't you again lay down in your poo all over your legs um, but at least his face and body will be clean and I'll give him a very quick rinse before I get on like with a sponge just wipe him over um, obviously he doesn't need to be sparkling because Number one, it's pissing it down with rain. And uh, number two, we're going cross country and we're only going to get muddy anyway. So, 
that is the plan for this morning. Soaps are all ready. My elbows have given given in to the water, so I have most of the elbows. And now we have been Cassidy and off to go and walk the course and watch pouch bathing. Hopefully, any minute now people will be starting in the country. They've already started to the roads and tracks about 40 minutes ago, so yeah. Hopefully they'll be doing the cross country in a minute. I am nearly ready to go, put a stock on so that hopefully the water doesn't run down my neck. Um, hopefully, try to put my collar up into it. Um, and we shall see. And then yeah, just going to put a waterproof coat on and then we'll go and get Tuck Caspi ready. Um, it is still chucking it down. We've literally got things, you know, things dripping at the front here. Um, but yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you. And then we're gonna wheel the wheel right down with the tack and tack up in his stable. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Just taking Caspi's hood off, and he is yucky everywhere. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give him a very quick wipe, but I'm not worrying about it too much because all the ponies are coming back filthy. And if I just get the best off him and then we'll head on down won't we Michael's kindly putting in my studs I'm gonna get tacked up and go in the 10 minute box i'm having a quick drink of coke casper's was heart rate was fine by the time we got back so that was all good and he's enjoyed everything no time penalties so far and now to crack on the cross country i've got about four minutes so i just need to check all his studs are in and then hop back on probably
ice bits on. This is what I was trying to explain in my other vlog. So, towel, ice boot, Millie no, and a normal boot, like ice pack, and the normal boot. Um, but he flew around clear inside the time, so very, very pleased with him. And um, we're currently sitting in eighth, and we could go up to fifth, um, as a few people haven't gone yet. So that's pretty cool. Very pleased anyway. Um, and we'll just see how Sir Johnson goes tomorrow. Because he might be quite tired, because it was a lot in that wet mud. Oh, and he's lost his shoe, so I need to go and find the shoe. Um, but it has to be on the Cush Country course because he had it at the 10 minute box. So we'll go for a little wonder and check the secretaries and everything later. Hopefully it can be put back on before our trot up and show jumping in the morning. Shoe found with the stud still in. So that's good. No overreach boot was handed in with the shoe, which is interesting. Might have come off um, at a different point, I guess. So I'm just going to take Casper down to the farrier and get it tapped on now so that we're all ready to go for the morning. Doing our bit of stewarding out of the road because this is, I can't flip it the other way. Oh, okay. Doing our bit of stewarding out of the road and tracks in the delightful rain. I finally have phone battery again. I literally only remembered about an hour ago that we packed our laptops do some phone charging and maybe watch a film um, so that's what I've done which is good um, still raining funnily enough it's about I don't know I think it's probably gone seven o'clock on Saturday evening we're going to take Cassidy down some hay at his evening feed um, and then yeah give him some more straw probably take him for a little one just to check he's not stiffened up and then we'll go and get some food from our from the catering tents I think they're still open. Um, yeah, still raining, still disgusting, and very, very pleased with Casper today. So, not too bothered about how it goes tomorrow. Um, completely understandable if he's tired because he, there was, I think, only three people in our section, including us, that weren't clear inside the time. So, pretty good. Um, so, yeah, whatever happens tomorrow, it doesn't matter. We're in overnight which is really nice we climbed six places today um but yeah the show jumping looks quite big i've just seen it there um and the ground is disgusting in there they had to move all the jumps today after the 80 and 90 juniors went round um so it'll be quite tough i think jasper's having another hand graze I've just had a little trot out with him and he's still very much sound, so that's good. And he doesn't seem to be too tired. Hopefully he feels the same way in the morning. Gasper's got a huge feed and a nice big bed. <laughs> that was a big bite. Are you hungry? Hopefully you're going to be on your A-game. We've got the spillers. <laughs> spillers perform and restore in there. And a bit of oats, and then his usual feed. <laughs> I think he likes it. Is that good? Yeah. Good boy. Hopefully you're feeling good tomorrow. You can have a nice massage first thing in the morning, and probably before you show jumping too. Good boy. No night. Yeah. No night. <laughs> Such big mouthfuls. It's the final day. We had a very cold night last night, which is why the doggies are back in bed snuggling. Um, although they didn't sleep here. They did They did both have coats on, like Millie's. They're thermotexes, but Maple's lost her somewhere. So she's a little bit cold. Um, but now we need to get up, <coughs> go and plait Casper. Maple, head down. Thank you. Um, Go and plait Casper and get him all clean and ready for the trot up in about an hour and a half. Um, and then we'll muck out and stuff afterwards. So, yeah, and I have to look fairly presentable. Just not with the scar under my eyes, which I seem to have now, even though I haven't put mascara on yesterday. But 
guys head down really head down thank you um so yeah that's a plan of action we need to get up get dressed and go and see casper ready for chop up number two michael's just doing his black titsies um yeah we're a bit late so i really need to get a move on that'll do michael go to the next one yeah not not ideal for the last day but hopefully they don't mind oh they're running late um i forgot my hat that was the main issue go 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 ready for show jumping I don't know if I said anything after the shot up but he passed um, and it's looking very nice um, it, it took an hour to get a clear round of the show jumping so I'm not too hopeful he can do a pee or poo he's definitely smart he's definitely not too tired which is really nice um, but yeah I'm, I'm pleased that we've got this far and he's been so amazing so far so fingers crossed we can complete and don't knock the whole thing down is my aim um anything better than that will be incredible really um because he is only six years old and it's his first ever three-day event and yeah just very very pleased um i've got about 45 minutes no about 50 minutes until we go show jumping um i'm not going to do too much of a warm-up apart from a long walk because i don't need to waste any of his energy um, but yeah, that's what I really have to say for now. All done. One very, very unfortunate pole. Last, the last jump. Um, show jumping, and I knew it was going to happen because it. I didn't like it. So there we go. Oh well. Um, but we have managed to still finish eighth. So we are heading down to the prize giving now. Um, very, very pleased with Casper. He did nothing wrong. Um, I probably could have gotten up on a better stride to the last and he may have gone clear but oh well, very, still very happy with him and very pleased to have finished safe. We are all packed away and ready to go home. Uh, it's been a long weekend, long three days, um, but it's actually been really good fun and I definitely do it again. We'll probably head to Bicton three day at the end of the season. Um, if all goes well to plan um, but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog it's been lots of fun something quite different um, and I'm so so pleased with Casper so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you next time